Hey guys, welcome to the Photoshop Training Channel. My name is Jesus Ramirez. You can find me at Twitter at JR from PTC. I have another very exciting tutorial for you today. In this video, we'll be talking about feature enhancements in 3D in Photoshop CC. One of my favorites is the live paint feature, and I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to create a new mesh, and I'll do a new mesh for my preset, and we'll use the wine bottle as our preset. And it's, uh, Photoshop is going to auto generate this wine bottle here, and I'm going to just click on the infinite light, and I'm just going to move the light just so I can get a better better look of what's going on. Maybe I'll move the camera a bit too. Maybe it's a good spot here. Then I'm going to click on the wine bottle uh, mesh. I'm going to click on the label material. And in the diffuse option, I'm going to edit the texture. This is going to open up a new tab that shows the texture of that wine bottle, of, of that label. If I paint on the label with this blue color here, and come back into my wine bottle, you'll see the changes here. This is how it worked in Photoshop CS6. But in CC, I can go into Window, Arrange, Two Up Vertical, and I can see a live paint preview. So anything I paint on the mesh, I can automatically see in the bottle. I could also paint in the bottle and see the same preview on the mesh. If I click on the Move tool, rotate my bottle, I can select the brush tool again, I can keep painting and seeing the result. You don't see the result because it painted here, but if I, if I zoom out and continue painting, you'll see the live paint preview. So it works both ways. You can paint on the bottle and see the changes in the mesh, or you can paint on the mesh and see the changes on the bottle. This is a really awesome feature if you like working with 3D in Photoshop. Another enhancement in Photoshop 3D is the unlit feature. This gives an object the ability to ignore properties that could be distracting to you, such as bump maps, lights, and things of that nature. I'll show you how that works. I'm going to click on the Move tool, and I'm going to click on Scene, and in Surface, my style is going to be Unlit Texture. So as you can see, now my object now and actually I'll close this so you can see that better and I won't save it. So as you can see my object is disregarding any of the lighting properties. If it had a bump map or any other texture map applied to it, it would disregard it. This is not a huge improvement but it can be helpful when working in 3D. And that's it for this video. Let me know what you think about Adobe Photoshop CC in the comments down below. If you have any questions, you can leave them below as well, or you can head over to my Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus page and leave them there if you like. If you like this video, don't forget to click on the like button and share it with your friends. And of course, don't forget to head over to my website, PhotoshopTrainingChannel.com, where you can subscribe to my newsletter on the right hand side, where I will send you an email every time I put up a new tutorial. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time.